welcome to my video. Um, in this video series, I will be teaching you how to um, make this app here in Android Studio. So I made this um, about a week ago um, with a lot of generous help from <laughs> uh, the Android Studio samples, Stack Overflow, and various GitHub demos. Um, so I would um, like to be able to um, redo it. This time, um, I would like to know what each of the Java classes do because a lot of them are sort of black boxes to me. I know they work, but I don't know how they work. And hopefully in this video series, uh, you and I will be learning together um, how to redo this app. Um, so first, let's just... Um, well, we're not going to make like the How to Celebrate Christmas app again. Um, you know, I've already done it. Um, I want to do something new. So um, I've already uh, created its twin. It's very bare twin. Um, how to Celebrate Winter Solstice to keep up with the winter theme. And I'm making this video in December. So I've already created it because um, if I compile it again, my screen recording software tends to crash. But basically what you want to do is you want to open up a new project, whoops, open up a new project, um, give it a name, click next, view the default uh, settings, default blank activity, default settings, and then click finish, and then it'll just um, make a new project like this. Um, so the first thing we notice, uh, how it's different from the old one, is that there's nothing in it, of course. Um, I'm using Android Studio 1.5.1, uh, which is a little different from the other Android Studios um, in my experience. Um, first of all, there's this new sort of color scheme. It's like a purple, bluish, you know, default color thing. And there's there, there's this thing at the bottom here. It's called a floating action bar. When you click on it, you can do anything. The default thing is this sort of thing that sort of pops up and gives you a little message. Um, I don't think it's useful, but <laughs> I think it's kind of cute, especially if you want this, like, if you want, you can set up an email client to pop up in here. Um, I just put it up here, um, because I don't want to be emailing people so easily um, on my user interface. Um, so it's not just a list. Um, if you click on a thing, it takes you to a new activity. In this case, it's a, just a big, huge thing on how to decorate a Christmas tree, and you can scroll, you can do these horizontal scrolling things, and you can even click here to, you know, get to the next one, and they're like sort of independent too. And if you click on a different thing, here's where it takes you to cookies, you know, you can see the recipe for the cookie, and if you click here, it'll take you to um, your default browser. I won't click on it because my emulator is kind of slow and um, I don't want to have to spend five minutes opening up a browser, but you get the idea. Um, so let's try to replicate this um, in our thing. Uh, so, so far I want to go through the general XML um, of this. So in our main activity, it, you know, it sets the content to by default the activity name. So let's go here and you can see that uh, I guess I can use this as a um, demonstration. The first thing is this sort of app bar layout which corresponds to this thing of blooper right here and you can use it to change colors and stuff, primary color, you just rechange them to attributes folder. Um, actually be this whole thing. And then um, it has sort of like pseudo fragment thing, this include tag right here, which goes to content main over here, which is the like main stuff you put into your app. This stuff is like sort of like a folder, I guess. And this part, whew, this part corresponds to this floaty action bar. So that's the general layout of this activity main. We'll be mainly um, editing the fragment, which is content main. So let's just go to the content main. And you can see uh, the default thing is a hello world. 
Yeah, pretty simple. So let's just update this to include a list view. Um, well, first thing, let's look at a give a ID to this this fella. Okay. Um, app plus ID. Let's do a hello world. Generic, but works. Um, and now let's add a list view. Uh, wrap contents. Wrap contents. All right. Um, let's. What is going on? Why is it? No, it doesn't. We'll add stuff. Um, Android ID. What is on earth? Does it? Should I add stuff here? Okay. All right. No. Ah, uh, it's confusing. Okay. Sorry. I am such a noob at this. Um. Android ID. I just want to give it an ID. Okay, let's just add the ID and see if my auto compiler complains. Let's just call it a list view. Why is it unhappy? It's an empty body. Does it? Should I add it here? No, it's not happy. I don't understand what's going on. I feel like. I feel like this tag should go right here. No, it's not right. I don't know how the syntax is supposed to work. Let's try it again. Hopefully we'll get through this. Um, hopefully get through this. Um, Hopefully, get through this and uh, make a list thing by the end of the video. Um, why? Why is it complaining? If it's not an empty body, I have a ID in there and I have all these. Okay, I'm gonna cheat. How did I do this originally? Oh my god, this should not be this difficult. <laughs> so much stuff. Um. It should be list view and a close tag. Okay, so we did. So we don't need a closing tag. We just is that what we need? What on earth is going on? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is really hard. <laughs> what on earth do I need to make a list view? No, I just need to close it like that. Is that sorry? I'm not familiar with the syntax that much. All right, it's that. All right. That works too. <laughs> um, all right, so did, did our list view pop up? Yes, it popped up. Okay, great. So that's how you do the syntax, just like that. Um, and let's put it below um, the uh, text view here. So because right now it's just like sort of on everything's on top of each other. It's doesn't look so nice. Um, below uh, at ID uh, text. Oh no, it's called Hello World. Okay, see? Now um, they are not on top of each other, so it looks a lot nicer. Okay, great. <laughs> We've made our um, sort of starting UI. <laughs> Sorry, that took so long. All right, in my next video, um, if we run the emulator right now, it will just come up with an empty list because there's nothing inside the list. So um, in my next video, I will show you how to populate the list with um, items, with text. All right, thanks. Bye.